so I'm out here in Snoqualmie, Washington. This is pretty close to where I live. This is awesome. They actually said that they had, they called a bunch of tree companies. They wanted to get this removed. Nobody was calling back. The guy's like, I think I'll email the guy from YouTube. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm just here <laughs> like a week later. So this is awesome. It's just a, a maple. They want to get it taken down because it's multiple stems and it's around their shop and everything. They also don't like how many leaves it produces. Anyways, we're just gonna cut it down. It's nothing super fancy, but I did that fur video the other day that wasn't that fancy and people still liked it. I, I just looked at pictures and I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna need to lower some stuff down. I put a message on Instagram. I'm like, I need a ground guy for just one day. And Randy is the Mandy instantly <laughs> replied. And I'm like, man, a man with chest hair and everything. <laughs> so I was uh, actually really surprised that that Ryan replied because he's like a really good climber and but he said he'll come out and help me um we're gonna probably zip line the back stuff over to that tree over here we set up a GRCS on it and it's pretty straightforward um but yeah we're just gonna get after it thanks for coming yeah, out no I don't like that your name's not Randy <laughs> don't call me I was gonna ask you too do you go by guilty or Jacob yeah it's I go if by whatever it's like whatever yeah dudes playing dudes disguises those dude. guys at Seattle Tree Care just call me guilty <laughs> Yeah. They really? yeah, and then yeah. some people call me treason, and then some people, and then my whole life it's been like 50 50 Jake or Jacob. That's so, uh, same you can call me whatever you want. Ryan, Randy, you, hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah, saw you said my gas is my saws goiled up. <laughs> Randy combined gas and oil to make one word. And I put my uh, my batteries are ready for you, nice, and I have them marked there with ours. Okay, sweet, so, so yeah, so I'm using the battery one for this because uh. I really like the battery saw, but I only have one battery. I used to have, I used to use the saw all the time when I worked at East Side because we had a bunch of batteries, and um, I had that sweet truck and it had an inverter. I could charge batteries, but now I only have the, the battery I got with the saw, and I don't have uh, any extras, so I find myself basically never using this saw. But Randy's got extra batteries, so I'm going to use it today. I want more batteries for sure. Yeah, I just, I just want to solely use this. But then I tell myself, if I do more than like a four battery day, that's a lot of cutting I did. <laughs> like, I mean, I did, you got another battery? Go ahead and do another tree. No, I'm good. I did too much battery work today. I find that every two batteries is an oil tank. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's okay. what I, but I don't know if it's because I run a different size bar. I mean, there's a lot of, what'd you say? You know, it's very situational what you, your setup is. Do you wanna, oh, our Cena's. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, you want to link up? Yeah, I'm yeah. excited. Let me grab mine. Hold on. <laughs> Battery level's low. I had it charging on the way here. Well, we'll see how long this yeah, lasts. Well, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> We're locked in. Like, you want me to toss that to you? Going. You probably want that yeah. guy. This is the first. I went to JK Boots. They built me these awesome boots. They're 16 inch climbers. And, uh, that was a couple weeks ago and then I've been sick. I haven't worked in like a couple weeks. This is the first time uh, climbing with these. I filmed uh, Tim build these boots step by step. I'm not sure which video I'll edit first, but this is my first time climbing with these. I finally have some decent lineman boots again. You're uh, you're good at putting that GoPro on without, I have to take it off and do it. I can't just take it off and oh, and then yeah. put it back on. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm scared I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna ask you because I was thinking about getting some of those boots. They're gonna do like an affiliate link or something so that it's like code treason, you get a discount, I get a really? little commission. Get really? A commission. Well, maybe I'll uh, so, jump on it. So wait until so <laughs> I get that. I don't have a pair of 16 inch climbers anymore, my stripper boots, I, I, uh, I got rid of them. Dude, I, I love the stripper boots, man. Oh yeah, they're solid. They're great for spur climbing, you know? Yeah. Dude, this tree is so much bigger than I thought in the pictures. You know what's crazy is I almost, uh, <clears throat> it might have been helpful. You find what helpful? So I have a 60 foot bucket truck and it's been in the shop getting its, uh, getting its boom inspection. But I just got called yesterday and they said it, I could pick it up today and I was like oh, I should just go pick it up and drive it because it hasn't been driven in a while it might you know it might be handy it would have been helpful on this you just bust out as much brush as possible you have a 60 foot bucket oh a four I would say a forestry truck because it has a chip but yeah it's a forestry truck that's sweet 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna just sort of uh, stick to the... Uh... Dude, I love this saw, man. Oh yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Oh yeah, look at this big tear out. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just gonna try to keep it small. Just these down only jobs is what I like doing. Cause it's like, I thought about getting, like if I get a chip truck or a chipper, then I'm kind of like married to one location, you know? I want to be traveling around. Yeah, you, doing what you're doing, you can just go, you have an efficient car, you can go jump around and do the thing. Yeah, I also have a nice motor home, but it's too expensive to drive now. <laughs> I bet. I think of uh, like when you get the equipment too, you got like, oh well, shoot, now I got oil changes and I got all the all the stuff that comes with it. Yeah, you, you get like, I feel like you're kind of married to it, you know? God, look how fast I'm cleaning this up. Dude, you're doing so good. <laughs> got me your brush bunny, running around. Dude, yeah, best ground guy ever. I love it. <laughs> I'm so shocked that you're like, I'll come be your ground guy. <laughs> I would love it. Anytime. <laughs> so I usually generally work three days a week, but the guy that I work for, I came in and worked like five days. He's like, why do you do it? And I'm like, I'll chalk it up. I'm addicted to doing it. Yeah. I'm, I'm addicted to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm the same way, especially last, I think it's been like two or three weeks since I've done any. Done any work? It just got real slow all of a sudden. I need to be fiending for it. Just like, I need to cut something down. I know, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna drop a big dead one. Yeah, I'm all clear. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I got a bird nest up here. Another birdie, huh? Under real quick, quick as a bunny. What do I do with this? <laughs> well, I guess there are no eggs in it, so I think it's empty, vacant. Dude, it's crazy, man, like how much bigger these trees, like trees are in person. It's still big up there. Oh, and like you were saying earlier, so you were saying you were doing one by yourself the other day and you had to come down like five times. So you didn't have... I did do one. I just had to come down and hike back up like 60 feet. <laughs> really? That sucks, man. I was pretty bummed. I probably would have just left if I didn't have. If you didn't have someone, you'd be like, I, I didn't need to reevaluate. Yeah. Yeah, some days you're the dog, some days you're the hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> I've not heard that. I'm learning so much already. I'm <laughs> learning so much linguistics. <laughs> Getting a linguistics education. Underground guy. Oh, man. Did you do what crabs do right there? Pinch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try to model my climbing style after crabs. <laughs> this one's kind of big. Um, headache. You ever have your sunglasses or your safeties like give you like a, a headache cramp on the side of your head from wearing one with your helmet? Happening to me right now. I had a, I, I, I'm always losing my sunglasses. I had a pair that Clogger sent me for three hours wearing. And then I was at the lake the other day and these like, I don't know, 11 year old boys came up to me and they're like, we started, we started off with a $2 and we traded for these water bottles. We're wondering if you have anything you'd trade for these water bottles. <laughs> we were trying to get to $50. So I traded my sunglasses for a couple of bottles of water. Oh, that was a nice of you. Got them, probably got them to where they needed to be. Yeah, they were pretty used, but uh, <laughs> I just thought it was cool what they were trying to do. They were trying to hustle is what they were doing. Yeah, <laughs> they were like, no way. <laughs> sunglasses. But then I had to buy sunglasses. You're really munching through that brush there, Randy. I am a brush bunny. Zoinks. I didn't even think there would be brush to drag. I thought it was. <laughs> Oh well, I like it. Keeps me uh, young. Boop, 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 boop. 
Yeah, and I'll take that rigging line whenever you're ready, buddy. Yeah, yeah. On line. Okay, thank you. I want my line to be here, but I don't want to tie into this little guy, so this is what's nice about SRT. My rope's basically tied in here, but I can actually back it up on this big beefy piece of wood right here. <laughs> Under. Yep. Bagging your rope. Thank you. So you got chip truck, chipper, and mini skid, and bucket? Yep. You're like all set up. Well, I had a business, and I had a business partner, but as life goes. Dude, that's every, that's like every tree company. Yeah, doesn't seem to work out, but I, uh, I acquired quite a bit of equipment from it. Let me say again, that that's like the beginning of every tree company, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Start out with a partner, and next thing you know, one guy has a company and the other guy doesn't. <laughs> the other guy's doing some firefighting or something. I really need to get some more batteries, dude. This thing's awesome. All clear. Dude, it's so sick. I tell people all the time, like, you've got to be like the best I've ever seen at rigging your own tops out. Here we go. <laughs> that doesn't come from burning my hands to crap. No gloves. No glove, no love. Noise. I think this is the first time I've ever like, like, like paid somebody to come help me like do a tree job. Yeah? Yeah, That's you're my cool. first employee. That's cool, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm your first. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Noise. Man. Using that 20 a bunch. What's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I gotta go a little softer with this one. <laughs> I kind of want to cut it here, but I'm a little worried about it. Like blowing up in my face doing some crazy barber chair gnarly you think that would happen uh maybe a little lower maybe like where my feet are yeah i get scared with big maple tops like that yeah sometimes like if i ever question it i'm always like i go a little higher i gotta go up there anyway to swing over right yeah if i just get a few of those limbs off yeah that won't happen okay you want your big saw i will in a little bit but cool. i'm gonna go take some of these limbs off i hate that we're not seeing it up What's that? I hate that we're not seeing it. I up. know. <laughs> we'll like living there. in the dark ages. Hey, when did you start doing tree work? 15 years ago, 16 years ago. You remember the dark ages? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> One thing I'll never understand is like a climber keeping a saw on. Yeah, yeah. And then he'll be yelling to you, I need a photo. I'm like, you're the guy. Dude, or, or like uh, when you're trying to yell to the ground and the ground guys are just standing there like what, instead of turning the chipper down? Yeah, like turn it down, let's talk like normal humans. Yeah, dude, like I'll, I'll just like stop. I'll, even if it's like a walk, I'll go turn off the chipper, let it, and then like, okay, what do you need, you know? Yeah, like wait, all right, now we have clear, I want to know everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what'd you have for breakfast? <laughs> Yeah, or guys that are like leave their they're like doing a prune or a wind sail and they just like their saw is just idling for an hour. Yeah, oh that's the worst. They're using their hand saw. 
and their saws just idling. <laughs> that is the absolute worst. <laughs> okay, headache. All clear. <laughs> Stab. <laughs> Under. Yep. Headache. Look. Yeah, all clear. I think I want this one to swing out, so if I just cut it straight down, the tip might hit and bounce back, so I'll try to fold it. <laughs> Noise. The idea here is reducing some of the weight up here means that when I make a big cut down there, it's less pressure being released at once, meaning it's less likely for the trunk to barber chair. Which barber chair is especially dangerous when you're in the tree, you know? Rolling like thunder. Headache! All clear! Okay. Jacob, I'm gonna start on my saw and dice this up so I can get out of the road. You cool with that? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. you can send that one if you want. I know you're right there. Okay, yeah, just one more. Okay. I'm getting this wing warmed up. Just one more. Time. <laughs> <laughs> it's always so nice that you have a climber as a ground guy, you know. Ah, uh, are you are you about to? You need your saw, your big one. I don't know. You tell me. Whatever I do, it'd probably be good to move that stuff first. Well, so that, I well, I was gonna move the brush. I just want to tend to cater to your climber. I, I I am gonna want my big saw. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get you all cleared out, and I'll get that all cleared up. We gotta get the brush over there. If I take a small top, brush is here. Randy's got to move all the more brush. The bigger top I take, the less brush there is to move, but because it leans, I don't know, my barber chair. I don't think it will. You think this will fit, like, about right here? Yeah, if anything, I feel like the tips will just brush that to the cattle gate. I like the, taking a big boy piece. I like it. Well, it's less brush to move, oh, you know? Oh, I like, I like, I was, I was thinking immediately. Uh, I think it's okay. I think I'll probably cut it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, hurry up. I've been waiting. Sorry about that, boss. <laughs> Put the chance on. You never leave the climber waiting. Cater to your climber. I warmed it up as best as I could. You want, oh, you got it pull-up style, all right. Up yeah, I'll, yeah, because my rope's short, so. I can never decide on a good length. What do you run, 150? This one's 120. Man, that's like a good, I like that size. It's good for crane work, you know, but. Oh, I bet. But if I do like a big tree, I find myself hauling up a big saw by hand a lot, and I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that either. Okay, I'm gonna do my face cut. Yep. Yep.
Is everything not broken? No, you're solid. GRCS is good, fence is good. Awesome. Yeah. Give me a sec, I'll cut this up and roll it out of the way. Cool, dude. And uh, we can start zip lining, huh? You sure you don't want my help? Like, that's kind of a lot of wood. I mean, you can, it's up to you. I don't care. I'm, uh, if you want to come down and take, take water, but I'm, I'm going to cater to my climber here and uh, get this out of the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to, well, I need a smaller saw is what I need. Oh yeah, sorry. That, that, that was my fault. Yeah, come on, dude. <laughs> I, I feel it fine. I'm in the shade, you know. I do appreciate it. I come pretty, we probably come pretty prepared. I'm sure you do. It yeah. looks like but I, 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 just I do appreciate it. it. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes I'm running a little rough. Yeah, no, don't, don't give him any water. You, you give the ground guys water and they feel entitled. <laughs> yeah, I need to okay. work for it. <laughs> we don't want to enable him. Yeah, all water goes to the climber. Online? Thank you. Uh, so you're going to get your tractor. You want me to cut it up into a few pieces? Yeah, and we'll just... And uh, push it into the pile. yeah, I'm gonna get his saw out of the way, yep. dude. Thank you. All I was thinking is, don't get pitched, and I almost got pitched. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. My back appreciates it. All right. All right, rock and roll. That was awesome. Yeah, crusty. You want to start zip lining? Let's do it. Okay, I just need a, I need that rope to me. Yeah, I'll grab it. One rope coming up. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Can you tie the slings on too? Oh, they're, sorry, my bad. No, yeah, yeah. come on, come on. God, I'm better than that. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut t some twigs. Twig away. I'm glad we set up the GRCS. These things are kind of fat. Yeah, there's some big boys. Yeah, I got one on, buddy. It's one of the things I love most about working in Washington, man, being able to speed line stuff. Yep. We got that tall stuff for it. Yeah, sorry you're working so hard. I I really thought this was smaller. Oh, no worries. That's the way it goes sometimes. It's always the way it goes with pictures. Yeah, I mean, walking into something when you don't know, you're just... You never know. But I just don't want to drive that far to go look at it at a time, you know? I, I completely understand. I'm not a fan of driving too far either. Kind of have to though. Yeah. Get out of my face. You're on? Yes, sir. What do you think, a wrap? Kind of the more the merrier, you know? Yeah. Probably wrap it all the way and just give it a couple cranks, you know? Get a little, uh, little elongation out of the ropey. Yeah, why not? How's that feeling? Looks like it's tightening up real good. Well, I have it as tight as it can be for one wrap. I think that's fine. I think you're sufficient too. All right, I'm ready on line. All right, here we go. <laughs> Sorry about your tarp. Sorry about your wood pile. <laughs> <laughs> like cream to the tarp. That was a good first little uh, snippet of how big and whatnot. This one's gonna be half the size. Half the size? Yeah. 
All right. You want me to dice that up real quick? Y you know best. Yeah, it's probably gonna be in the way because I'm gonna get it, try to get it to come as far as possible. Okay. Uh, give me a sec. Where did my chainsaw go? Oh, of course. I left it far away. The, the GoPro, that GoPro makes extra quiet sounds because it's held together by glue and the glue is over that little speaker. Oh. Pretty sure I, I bought that one from uh, August Hunnicky. Did you? And then it, it broke, it, he sabotaged me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, broke when I was in Hawaii, and I, but I glued it back on. But you're like, what the heck, August? We gotta go down there and sabotage. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna saw this up real quick. Okay, this next one is like pretty small. Hand doable? Yeah, I think so. All right. Dude, it's so nice to have boots with a steel shank again, man. I'm ready on the line. All right, it might get kind of tangled. You might need to, you know, jiggle it. Might have to do a little, little yarding. Oh. Want me to pull? Sure. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't expect that to work. Come on, baby. I got nothing. <sighs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. And I'm just gonna cut one and let it fall. Yep. Because that was a, a pain. <laughs> Oh, it's that time of year where the, the maple's prickly. Yep. Are you getting the fuzzies in your hand? I actually used to get uh, super allergic to them when I first started. Really? Yeah, like it'd make me itch and I'd break out all over my arms, but it maybe it built an immunity. <laughs> now you're stronger than ever. <laughs> Dude, you want to do like kind of a big top? Do I, do I want to do a big top? Sure. I got a jerser. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll wrap it till the cows come home, man. The only trees I've ever had where rigging spar or rigging points break is ma big leaf maple. Really? Actually, no, I had a silver maple split out once. That's really scary. Well, it's always at the unions, you know? Yeah, very uh, included in gross, usually. <sighs> ah, hate it when you get higher than you're tying. Bad rope angle, and I hate it. All right, you can go ahead and Crank it on the jerser. Yeah. Big boy top coming in. One, two, three. Let's see what I get off of that. Um. All right, online. Look. <laughs> yeah. Noise. I'm glad I went a little smaller. That wasn't even. Were you going to do both of them? Yeah. Yeah. But that worked <laughs> out great. <laughs> I'm glad you went a little smaller too. I, my hands wouldn't have liked the rope. I would have been like, I thought he was doing one. <laughs> Change my mind. <laughs> I'd been down there cleaning up for a minute. You need more slingies? Uh, no, I, I, I got four more. Cool. Do you want to uh, zip line another one or do you want to clean that up? Let's zip line all of it out until it's brushed out and it'll take me about 30 seconds to clean that up because I'm so good on the ground. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Well, I, I'm on. What do you have? Two more tops? It's uh, half the size of that one. Let's send it. Online. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah. Scud nice. missile. That was awesome. Dude, uh, you know Kevin Ham? Ham's Arbor Care. Uh, the guy, didn't you go see him in Wisconsin? Yeah. yeah. He gave me that GRCS. Did he? Yeah. That is, what an awesome dude. He's super awesome. Yeah, he. I went and worked with him for a week. He paid me. He like flew me out, got me a hotel, bought me his GRCS. He, the whole kit and caboodle, huh? Dude, he's like super generous, yeah. Dude, that's awesome. What a cool dude. He said he'd, he's like, if you come out here, I'll even throw in a GRCS. And I thought he meant like a used one. And I was like excited. And then I had a, like a new one show up at my house. I was like, no way. He's like, no way. He like a freshy jerser. Dude, yeah. They're like three grand. Yeah, those things are spendy. I gotta cut this up real quick. Yep. Online, just a little guy, right? All right this one's like really small. Yep, ready. Yeah, I'm so glad that we chose the zip line. Yeah. Noise. It's <laughs> pretty sloppy. Sour face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any deeper it's just gonna break, so. Can't have the good without the bad. Yeah, it'll be all right. How did that feel when I did the last one? Did it feel hard on your spar when I did the big one? Yeah, kinda. Kinda? All right, I'll let it run a little quicker. That way you're not getting so jerked. Oh, thank you. I don't mind cleaning up out there a little bit. Thank you, yeah. I, I was tempted to just top it and not even zip line it, but it'll be fine. I always do get a little nervous like zip lining the tops out, you know, cause they wobble so much. Oh yeah. They wanted me to do one on a cottonwood the other day that was like super included, I'm like, Nope, I'm just gonna let this fly. Sorry, boys. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because the ground guys always love zip lining, you know? Yeah, they're like, no, do it. And they just hold on to it forever. Total tweak. I'm like, no! Dude, I was in a Leland and we were zip lining with the winch and the winch line snapped. And it was like real beefy and fat, so nothing broke. But dude, I, I whipped around like crazy. You went like a ping pong paddle. <laughs> oh man. But it was like really stout, so it wasn't that bad. But when they're noodly, dude, I get real nervous. Like I, I don't do them if they're real tall and noodly. Oh yeah, it's super scary. I'm ready when you are. All right, I'm gonna rig this up real quick and I'll let you know. Ready online. <laughs> You all right? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I saw you getting wound up. I'm like, uh-oh, I let go too late. Like Gumby up here, dude. <laughs> you, you went. Dude, that wobbled a lot. Sorry, I got greedy. No likey. Well, what are you going to do? You know, it's like, it's just how it is. I think I'm going to ask for my 46 again. Yep. Send it on down. I really don't like chunking with the battery saw. I uh, I totally understand. I try to take it to its limits just because I don't like to lower my saw. You've been slip knotted. Thank you. Yep. And then I'll, I'll just do like as big a chunks as I can manage and then... I was gonna say, if you want to just do big logs, yeah. I'll cut them up on the ground and we can just move them with the tractor. Yeah, that sounds good. I like it. Yeah, when I get lower, I'll probably ask for a sip of that drink and maybe uh, maybe the headset's charged by now. The, the scene is probably rocking. Yeah. Yes. I can't wait. <laughs> so much to talk about. <laughs> I have so much to tell you. So many things, so many activities. All right, here come the chunks. Stay. Oh, chip him down. Hear him struggle starting that? That was my fault. I didn't warm it up for him. I'm sorry, Jacob.
Timber. That was awesome. I was wondering if the Humboldt would make it land flat and it, it didn't. Didn't do uh you you humble with that? Like experimenting with Humboldts and conventionals in the tree, I just don't notice any difference in the way that the, the wood falls out of the tree. I don't know, do you? Uh honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I do not humble but more than twice a year just to see if I can do it. And most of the time I'm off pretty bad. Like my humble face cuts are I'd have to do it for like, a, I'd have to commit. Yeah, yeah. I'm very, uh, I'm very sloppy with them, I should say. I'm, I'm always jealous. So like I see you or, you know, lining up a big humble cut. I'm like, never in a million years, especially on camera. I would just, there's, it would just be the worst. Like a child did it. Yeah, that's what mine's like, but I just edit it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> did you want your bang, bangerang? Yeah, dude. Or did you, do you yeah. need anything else? Did you want to come down and take a break or? No, dude, I don't. I just want to. You just get it brushed out and yeah. it's gonna get hot. Yeah, because we're, we're still in the shade, but that could end any minute, you know? Yeah, doing that big Sitka spruce I was telling you about. Yeah? Took me two days to do it, and uh, it was probably like 170 feet tall. Just a massive one? Dude, it was huge, but, uh, but dude, I was at the top of this tree, dude, I had to pee so bad. And it's like, dude, I ended up peeing out of the tree. <laughs> I was gonna say, did you go out of it? Yeah, I did. I, 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 I like had a little bit of top left and I like shimmied up into it so people couldn't like see little, me. Like a little a barrier. And I peed out and we were on Cena's and the guy said they couldn't see the stream. You're like, watch out below, it's gonna rain for a minute. <laughs> I, I was like holding it as long as I could. I was like, dude, I, I have to go. Yeah, sometimes you got to. You, you, you done that? Uh, oh, oh, I have a, well, I've definitely done peed out of the tree, yeah. but I have another experience that when my first year in this, this kid, this guy didn't say anything and it was a nice day like this. It wasn't, you know, nice daily. It was, but all of a sudden I felt raindrops. No. And I was like, are you kidding me? You didn't even say anything? Like you're, no you're pissing on me? No <laughs> so I got like, uh, need to say I got peed on, which is like <laughs> horrible, just horrible. I'm like, come on, dude. You go to work. Yeah, I wasn't expected to work to get some raindrops on a nice day. I'm like, what is going on? Like, <laughs> you know? he didn't say anything. No, he just well. That kind of goes to me, my who I started, you know, yeah, yeah, guy's yeah. brother and just weird, weird <laughs> stuff. It's just the groundy. Dude, one time I was running the porter app and the climber was in the tree doing this deodora removal. And I look up like at the base of the tree. And as I look up, my mouth is open and I got a fat chaw spit oh, right in my mouth. Like, oh, he just like went. And it right in my mouth, yeah. yeah. That's, ugh. It was so vile. It was <laughs> That's like puke immediately. Yeah, I was like gagging. I was like, dude, like that stuff's nasty as it is, but someone's spitting it in your yeah. mouth. Yeah, it's pretty much you spit in your mouth, which is like gross. <laughs> oh, he's like, sorry. <laughs> the crazy things you see, I mean, you hear about. Like at least spit on the trunk, you know? Let it drip down slowly. <laughs> yeah. You know what you're doing. That's all you yeah. I don't want it. too much energy, you know. <laughs> Get it done too fast. Sponsored by Bay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you worked at Rion's, right? Yep. He uh, he didn't have all the the toy. He he only had a stick boom then. Well. I mean, he has awesome stuff, but he didn't have his tree mech or his... He's trying to sell his tree mech to get another stick. Oh, he's getting another stick boom? Dude, I think he's getting wants to get like 110 ton. I was going to say he probably wants the most gnarly 84 tire. <laughs> uh, wake up at three in the morning to transport through the little town of Cottage Grove. But he's go, go, go. He's an animal. Dude, he is. I, he never sleeps. Like when I was staying at his place, I was like... 
He'd be wide awake when I went to bed, wide awake when I got up. He's waking up, he's like, hey, you ready to go? Here's the coffee, here's the espresso. I'm like, holy smoly, dude. Him and Felipe both, dude, they just, they never stop. Felipe is, I love that dude. Dude, he's like half machine, I swear. Yeah, he's cool. He's gotta be like the best groundsman alive, dude. <clears throat> that hurt. <laughs> 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 Best ground guy east of the Mississippi. Yeah, I was like, that cuts deep. That cuts deep, man. No, he's he's an awesome groundsman. <laughs> See that log you took? It blew apart. This thing's like totally chowed it out. Like it's, I'm gonna try to roll it. Wow, that's yeah. nasty. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly, y'all. Grody up in there. Was that one of your second or first logs? First one. Yeah, that was the first one. And you were rigging up, we were ziplining off that. Wow, that is really grody. That's gnarly. When we're done with the uh, brush getting zipline over there and the, br the woods on the ground, can you mind tractor in again? You kid, yeah, awesome. No, I mean, it doesn't have to be anytime soon. I was just wondering when we get done, that way I don't have to cut it up and roll it. Cool, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I seen you reach for it, I'm, I'm grabbing. Yeah, Felipe would have. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Sorry about that boss, I'm on it. Yeah, <laughs> Felipe would have been on it. Keep being compared to my idol. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, dude. <laughs> All right, we're on, buddy. All right, getting rigged up here. Online and ready to receive a present. Okay, here we go. Ugh. Is that pulling on you tough? No, not at all. All right, because I'm, I'm using it to get it further over here. Yeah, no, it feels fine. Oh boy. Let me know when that feels like crazy tight. That's pretty tight. That's pretty tight? Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Here we go. This one's pretty juicy. Okay, here we go. Oh man. Yew! Woo wee! How'd that feel up on the tree? It felt good. I it was it looked really close to the roof from up here. Yeah. That was the only, that was the concernable one. Yeah, that was the worst for sure. <laughs> ah! Garrett it. You, you'll be able to hold this one by hand. Oh, you nice. You, what? <laughs> I said nice. Let me know when you're ready. Ready online. <laughs> Feed me. Yeah. Eat your heart out, Felipe. <laughs> <laughs> like to see him do that without his precious avant. <laughs> yeah. I should have brought my machine up here, riding on it, sipping coffee. <laughs> yeah. Eating lunch, listening to tunes. I work with a company with an avant, so I, every chance I get on it, I just try to be like him. I'm like, no one talks to me. I'm not getting off of this thing. <laughs> it's always a fun game to like, especially if it's like a big tree, nobody wants to climb. Like everybody's trying to, <laughs> I think we talked about that, right? Like just grab it, going straight for the rake. <laughs> yep. Oh, let me, hey, you want me to gas up your saw? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm raking bucket boy. Yeah, sometimes that's way better, especially with hedges, dude. A hundred percent with hedges. I don't know if people know how many hedges we do here in the Northwest. Like it's a massive amount. No, they don't. But you, it's, everywhere else you go, there are no hedges. I don't know what the deal is. I think it's awesome. Like my worst nightmare was going to Rion's and doing a hedge. <laughs> I'd be like, oh man, I want to try to get away from these things. <laughs> Dude, there are no hedges in Wisconsin. I know, it's awesome. Even where August lives, there are no hedges. And they don't, I mean, they don't, and if it is, it's like a little what, like boxwood that takes a... Yeah, it's like five feet tall, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, no, they, they don't understand, like, we do like 60 foot Leland hedges, dude. Yeah, football field drag, just stupid, yeah. stupid stuff. They're like, we want a foot off the top, it's like 40 feet tall. <laughs> Only a foot, huh? Let me get out the plumb bob. How about, a, how about 10 feet? Yeah. Yeah, the only other place I see that they do hedges is like uh, like in Quebec area. Canada? Yeah, like, like East Coast Canada and the UK. I see a lot in the UK, like crazy ones where I'm like, nope, you couldn't pay me a million dollars to do that. <clears throat> We're gonna do this fat one over here. That big old boy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, All right hold on, I gotta clip this on. Oh, I got a little ahead of myself. Come on, dude. <laughs> we got get Felipe on the phone. I'm, I'm sorry. I just got I got Felipe on the mind. I'm trying to I'm trying to one up him. <laughs> All right, I'm on. When I was there, everything you did, I'd try to like I'd see it like heat gas and oil stuff in the morning, so I try to get it done before him. Oh really? Yeah, I just like hey, I, all right, I got it done. Don't worry about it, amigo. <laughs> it's crazy. He's like unloading wood late at night, and then he like works on his, like these cars he sells, and then he works <laughs> Olive Garden on the weekend. His, he, yeah, he does his car. Isn't he, uh, I was gonna say, isn't he Olive Garden chef or something? He works at Olive Garden on the weekends. He just, he works all the time. Rian says the older that Felipe gets, the harder he works. Just totally opposite. <laughs> all right, I'm on that, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Whoa! Whoa, come on. Oh, a little too many reps, sorry. Ooh, no, that's fine. Mine was my bad. I wanted to get it tight, but it wouldn't go. Uh, Felipe is gonna be so mad at me about that. <laughs> I should have known better. Less friction. <laughs> Frick. All right, you're clean. Okay, ready? Uh, are you got one online already? Oh yeah, yeah, but it's. Sm <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sorry, yeah, yeah. I, I had Felipe on the brain. Yeah, no. I said, well, yeah, he's better. He would have been ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be up here with me, tying it on for me. Yeah, he'd be up there saying, hey, here you go, boss. Yeah, here you go, jefe. Let me tie this on for you. He's awesome. <laughs> yeah, online. It's a little guy, right? Yeah. Do a little baby face cut. Oh boy, I'm gonna have some brush to deal with, but I'm gonna do it faster than Felipe would. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a challenge, Felipe, if you see this. <laughs> You're almost out of slingy dingies, aren't you? Oh, I am, I got two left. You're gonna need a reload. Yeah. <laughs> so funny, how often do you do groundwork? Uh, 65% of the time. Really? I'd say so. I'll, almost like for a few years there, cause my, uh, I have a super bad back. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, just from tree work? Just from tree work and just like, I'm, I'm mainly, I mean, this is like the perfect amount of dragging, but like if someone wants to hire me to come drag fur limbs from the backyard to the front yard, I'm, like, I'm either bringing my machine or you gotta bring another guy. Like I can't. Yeah, yeah. I can't do that all day, but this is like fine for me. Like, you know, we implied rigging, it's two feet to drag. But uh, yeah, like most of the guys that I work with know like, oh, this guy, he's, he's not old, but his body's old. <laughs> So I was just like, <laughs> old for a tree guy. Yeah, old for a tree guy. But I'm just like, I, I prefer to be on the ground. These tree guys, they're they're like young for 10 years and they're like old for 30 years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you online? Yeah. But yeah, they. I mean, they do. But I I prefer if I can be on the ground just because I like to watch this stuff and be around it. It's just super fun for me. Yeah, yeah, dude. I have so much fun doing this. Just the people you meet and just like the the fun time. You know, you can just get away with saying and doing dumb <laughs> shit <laughs> stuff. Dude, yeah, it's especially, especially awesome that you get to work with a guy like me, you know? That's such a privilege for you. It really is. 
teaching me so many things. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm uh, I'm born ready. More than Felipe. <laughs> All right. You're on and ready. Sweet. Get that out of here. It's in my area, not Felipe's area. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Felipe. He's gonna be so mad. Why are you talking so much crap? I'm talking crap and paying homage to you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was close. Oh, a little sticky. I always say when people do that rubbins race and what happens. You ever like have a super cold call and everybody's like, yeah, nice job. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally meant to do that. I knew exactly what I was doing. Uh, did you use those two on that one? Uh, I'm just cutting a sucker. Oh, cool. That didn't answer your question. No, but I'm gonna land it on the zip line and get it over here. <laughs> uh. It's all right. Yeah, Felipe. Huda. Damn it! Damn it! Dude, I am out of straps, man. Uh, yeah, what do you need? That's a bummer. You got to pull up. Just two more. I know. I just need two more. You want me to give you two, or you just want the whole thing? No, just give me two. Cool. Now, how long have you been doing this? Twelve years. Twelve. Oh, nice. <laughs> That was a perfect little, little, uh, little, what do they call that, a kiss? Whew, yeah. <laughs> I gave it a little kiss. Like as it was going over, I was like, why did I notch it a little more <laughs> away from the building? <laughs> it was like perfect. I was like, oh, that's pretty close, but that was a tall top too. That was awesome. I'm gonna give you a little bit more gas and oil. Thank you. You're really, you're really making a comeback, you know, for <laughs> the best groundsman <laughs> accolade. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. Sorry, I didn't breathe your, uh, I just shot a bunch of gas in there. It was hot. Yeah, yeah, it's like like NASCAR mode. Yeah, I went, Psh, well, I'm, I'm hurry. I'm trying to beat Felipe. You know what I've never been able to do? What? Is not spill the bar oil. <laughs> and as you say that, you're welcome for what you're about to receive. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, yeah, I can't get mad. But you know what does make me mad, and this happened, I know it's happened to you, when they don't close the cap all the way. Oh yeah, you get it and just, thank you. Or or you do a couple cuts and you look down and it's just all over your body, just like. It's like, oh wow, I really wanted to put all that in my washer and dryer. Want me to start it? It's fine, you don't need to do that. All right, you're online then. Mm. I hate hearing you having to struggle to start that, man. I'm, I, yeah, why did you start this? <laughs> Damn it, I should have known better. Felipe is going to get on me about that. You should have just known. You shouldn't even asked. I shouldn't even have said that. All clear? All clear? back yeah yeah mm, sorry I'm one thing about Felipe I never saw him eating while the climber was waiting you know neither did I but he probably drove the Avant to a drive through restaurant <laughs> ate in it and then came back without to be seen eating lunch he's an animal he would never he would never dare let someone see him eating lunch you know he wants to be the hardest worker a little as you know I am <laughs> <laughs> There's only room for one hard worker around these parts online. Do all the climbers at the, the company you work for, does everybody think that they're the best climber at the company? Uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. That's every tree crew. I mean, I don't, uh, I'm just, cause that, like, I love it. Cause like I said, I don't mind being on the ground. So I'm just like, I go to work and like, 
sometimes they're climbed up like oh papa's got it daddy's gonna show you how it's done <laughs> i'm like all right daddy get up there all these tree guys act like nobody else knows how to climb trees you know i just like go ahead show me i don't i don't care I, better to you than me yeah show me in a chunk that big wood down i'll be here with my skid steer <laughs> yeah some people are like you you brush it out i'll do the wood i'm like sold <laughs> <laughs> all right cool you want to do the heart like okay fine you convinced me a lot of them are super young too so they i feel like they all have something to prove and i'm just like oh, whatever i mean you know, got nothing to prove to me i'm here to either i just love I, I don't know what it is i just love that everybody that climbs trees thinks that they're the best at it they're they're god's gift <laughs> yeah yeah i have no idea either it's everyone's uh ego is the is the biggest everybody thinks they're the humblest <laughs> but also the best yep oh yeah it took you two hours to do Pfft, hour 45 for me like i i'm really convinced of this after training like many climbers I'm really convinced that once a climber decides that like they're just the best and nobody's got anything to teach them, they don't get any better after that point, you know? They don't, yeah, they don't, they can quit learning. And there's new stuff that comes out all the time. It's like a light switch goes off where they realize that they're the best climber. And as soon as that light switch goes off, they just, that's how, that's the best they're ever going to be. All, that's all that you need to know is what they know. Anything more is stupid. And is and there's nothing that's like a bigger waste of time than like, trying to figure out if somebody's a good climber by asking them if they are or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, what the hell are you? They're, they're all the best. They're all, they all know how, I know how to do that. Can you take this, please? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, Felipe. <laughs> it's been up there for hours. You think I wanna hang on? I wanna hang on to the saw for another two seconds? I need a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna go reprimand myself. You're definitely getting better at groundwork as the day goes on. I'm, tr you know, it was, I was a little rusty. It's been a while. Oh, uh, this is kind of awkward down here. I'm kind of a little scared of that actually. Okay, so just got down out of the tree. I'm gonna fall these. This one leans back, so I've got a rope in that. These are sufficiently short that I can just fall them where they lean and I won't hit anything. I did think, like, I was up in the tree and I came all the way down. I was thinking I could just fall these from the ground, but it's actually a very awkward height. It's just out of reach. I'm almost average height. I'm five nine. Even Randy's 6'2", and it's, it's just too awkward, so I'm gonna actually step on the ladder to make these cuts. Um, it's just a six foot ladder. It's, it'd be nice to make the cut. The, the problem, here I'll show you, the problem with dropping this tree, oops, just throw the customer's ladder, oops. The, the problem with dropping this, like let's say I, it's, it's these, it's these included barks. Originally this was three stems separate, and as they've gotten bigger, they've sort of fused together. They're not fused together, but they're just pushing each other. So let's say I cut a face cut in here, right? And I went to fall this. I've all I've done is undermined this one stem. I haven't even gotten into the wood of here, so I'd have to cut super deep. I'd have to cut super low and hope that the wood was strong enough. And it's just a little safer if I could. It's dangerous no matter what I do, right? I cut it here, it might split apart. I cut it here, I'm on a ladder or I'm on my spurs. I'm, you know, the positioning is awkward, so that's dangerous. So it's dangerous no matter what you do. But these seams, they, they scare me. They, they, scare, they scare Randy too. And uh, so anyways, this is just a long way of saying I'm going to drop these two from the ladder and then I'm going to drop that one. I'm going to try to cut it up and have Randy crank it over, leave like a big hinge and get down off the ladder and out of the way. And then we're going to have this awkward big uh, stump to deal with. But uh, that's probably the safest way to go about this. So here we go. Oh yeah, it's nice and, <laughs> nice and stout. Did you want me to hold it?
feel like that's usually how like America's funniest home videos go. A <laughs> guy with a chainsaw on a ladder. You know? oh <laughs> Dusty demons of dirt, man. This is a sticky shirt. This is. I don't know if I can even wash this. Yeah, that's. <laughs> it looks like be, a ghillie uh, suit. That's uh, your washer is not <laughs> gonna like that. What do you think is gonna happen when it the butt hits this log? Do you think anything? Maybe I should slant it or something. <laughs> Got some pretty nice shots of your mustache, Ooh. dude. Your mustache is so sick. You could get a wicked one, dude. I know. I <laughs> want to. My wife doesn't want me to do handlebars. Uh, my wife. But I don't think she knows how good it would be. Yeah, know? it's just you gotta do it. It's a persona. Everyone, yeah. My I shaved mine the other day, and my mom's my wife was like, "You look so ugly." <laughs> I was like. <laughs> I grew it out immediately. She's like, don't ever shave that off again. I'm well, like, after you shaved your handlebars? Yeah, I just shaved myself clean. And she's like, don't, you need, Yeah. You so stupid. <laughs> I think it looks awesome. Can you go stand next to the GRCS? Let's see. <laughs> so good. Yeah, okay. Uh, get this out of the rigging, folks. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Call them yeah, it's true. true. <laughs> hey, folks, so you didn't want to do this. This is the jerser. <laughs> Uh, you care if I rig it up? Yeah, go for it. I'm just gonna put a lot of tension on it and then keep it yeah, in the cleat. That way I can uh, be over there any, anywhere. All right. <laughs> look what! Look what you did! <laughs> 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 oh. uh, did you want, dude? Uh, oh, my bad, Randy. Dude, <laughs> uh, my bad. This will be on lickety split. Did you call it a saw wrench or a scrunch? I call it a bar wrench. Bar wrench. That is such an awkward height to cut something at. I'm gonna clip this to here. Perfect. Oh yeah. That's gonna this be the one. OSHA approved. Anzi 1337. <laughs> Man. Yeah, the 133. Pretty good. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this back cut. <sighs> so how tight is that rope? Be pretty taut? Uh, let me see. I was just checking your. Yep, it's pretty tight. <laughs> Uh, 
to get out of the way. I crushed the homeowner's ladder. I gotta, I gotta get me a ladder for the top of my Jetta. That <laughs> should be pretty cool. You good? Yeah, dude. We're good. Nice. Nice job, buddy. Yeah, that was perfect. That was perfect. That was like just the right amount of stuff. Just putting his rope away. Somebody wants to know We're not gonna buck everything to firewood, but we're gonna make some cuts to try to get the road clear. And uh, I'm gonna try to get this awkward stump down lower. So that's what we're doing here, but we're almost done. <laughs> tree guys give the saw extra brat brat before we turn it off it's to clear sawdust it's gum it's to clear out the bar see how it's all gummed up that's what those extra brat brats are for like dying of heat exhaustion dude it, it like in washington state it like rained all the year it's been like 60 and now it's like in the 90s out of nowhere it's brutal i'm just taking a break check out uh check out randy's rig Sweet. Yeah, it's his van. It's pretty awesome. Uh, he, he took over for me. He's like, let me cut the stump for you because I'm just like really hot, man. It's, uh, it's a hot day. Customer moving the wood. It's awesome. This job's almost done. It's super cool of Randy to come out. He's a better climber than I am and he's out here doing groundwork for me. Super cool dude. All right, we are done here. The wood's all cut up. Ryan did a beautiful stump cut. Randy, Ryan, he goes by both. He did a beautiful stump cut. Homeowners were great. The homeowner pushed this. It's awesome. They had a tractor. Everything went awesome. So thanks a ton for coming out, dude. Yeah, man. No so you're, 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 <laughs> you kind of caught me off guard, but, you know. <laughs> Thank you again. Yeah. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Yeah, sounds good, man. All right. That's <laughs> you want me to blur this out? Or is this, is no, you're good. Okay. I got it. All right, man. Well, All right. <laughs> Cheers and have a good day. I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you next Tuesday. Yeah, and we'll be in touch before then, too. For yeah, sure, dude. Thanks, thanks a million, man. Yeah. All right, yeah, he's going to help me with another job. So, all right, if you like that video, please like and subscribe. You, follow, you can follow him uh, at, on Instagram. Randy is the Mandy. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you're in the area. This is Snoqualmie, Washington. I can do, I'm doing tree jobs. I do like down only tree jobs. I don't have a chip trucker chipper. It's a new business. I'm just, later, just doing no cleanup tree jobs. And I do contract climbing as well. So if you own a tree service and you want help with like a big tree or something or just need an extra set of hands, you can email me at guiltyoftreason1 at gmail.com. So, all right, I'll see you guys. Thank you.